What's up guys, Struggle here. This video may be a little lengthy because I'm going to be talking about my GTX 670 overclock with a BIOS mod. So keep in mind it is a BIOS modded GTX 670 and these are my bench scores for Heaven Benchmark 3.0 and I'm going to go over the what I use for the settings and everything like that, okay? Alright, first up we have my uh, core at plus 10 and then plus 300 memory. 47.1 was the average. 1186 was the score I got. 22.3 was the min. 127.3 was the max. Next test I did was plus 100 core plus 300 memory but that failed so I was like okay well let's bump it up to 70 core let's see if it will work on me oops there we go that's the reason why sorry about that so I proceeded to do uh, 70 core and then 300 memory my frames per second was 48.5 the min was 23.6 the max frames per second was 130.9 and scores was 1222 and I have everything on max I have the uh, DirectX 11 going, the 1920 by 1080 the 8 times AA, shaders high, textures high everything is high, I have tessellation on extreme as well so if you're wondering about my settings alright so um, I went to the next uh, overclock and this might be a picture of my keyboard actually that I was running and this right here shows that I was running um, 1273 megahertz and then 3500 megahertz on the memory and I'm not sure if it's correlating with the picture I just have or the upcoming picture so I think it's this picture coming up All right. Next overclock I did was I did 70 core and then plus 500 memory. So when I say 70 core, I mean plus 70 core for this uh, core clock and 500 memory. Frames per second, 49.6 as the average, 1249 as my scores, uh, score, 23.9 uh, for my min, 134 for the max. Everything again is on high. Next up, I bumped it up a little bit and then I proceeded to do plus 80 core and then plus 600 memory. Frames per second 50.3, scores was 1267, min was 23.2, max was 135.2, everything again is on high or I should say max settings you can do. So this is a pretty good uh, score right here I think. I'm not sure how high or what my overclocks will be compared to other GTX 670 overclocks. So I'm not sure. Alright, test 6. I think this is uh, test 6 right here correlating with it with the uh, 1283 megahertz and 360 49 megahertz for the memory. All right, let me keep on going. All right, frames per second. Average was 50.6. Scores was 127.4. Min 24.4. Max frames per second was 136.3. Now I'm seeing if I have any tests going on any more pictures and I do now I made a boo-boo guys and I accidentally forgot to take the picture but obviously I'm giving you proof that I am doing this but uh, test 7 I'll go ahead and go to the side I did a uh, plus 80 core plus 700 memory I got 50.9 for the uh, average one 281 for my scores. Min was 23.8. Max was 136.8. And then if you look right here, if you can see, forgot to take pick and then Homer Simpson dough. Alright, now we're gonna go to the last test before I went to bed at 3 in the morning. 
That's right, I stayed up till 3 overclocking and doing all this stuff. We're going to do 80 core, 50.9 as the average, 720 memory this time, 1283 as my scores, 24.0 is the min, and then the max is 136.8. So I'm going to go ahead and raise it up a little bit and maybe you guys can see me maybe you can't but I'm the only one here recording so I have a little lessons learned okay when I did plus 800 memory the whole thing artifact even with me using 1.28 or 1.213 volts and I used that for all the benchmarking I did for the volts so I'll make sure to annotate that uh, below in the description box for uh, 60 or GTX 670s, um, from what I've been reading, it is really hard for you to hit 1300 megahertz on that core because I know a lot of people want to hit it. Well, I was able to make it within like maybe 10 to 15 megahertz, or say, say 17 megahertz. I reached uh, 1283 megahertz. Also, what is important on your graphics card, it's not just your core being overclocked, it's also your memory. So I was reading on the forums and stuff and seeing how people were doing it, and they said, hey, overclocking your memory is a little bit more important than overclocking your core because it's the memory that's processing and everything. And as you can see, I don't have an exorbitant overclock on my core whatsoever. So that just goes to say something. So I was able to do 700 memory plus 700 memory on my BIOS mod that I did with 1.213 volts. So, let's see, OC your memory first, then your core, not the other way around for you guys that have these cards. And uh, if you don't believe me, like, here's all the testing that I have. My handwriting is not the greatest because I was basically trying to knock these runs out as fast as I can. But I did do that. And the max temp that I got on the um, GTX 670 was, I think, between 50 to 50, de uh, excuse me, 50 to 53 degrees at 1.213 volts. And then my CPU, for some reason, it says um, at 3.4 gigahertz here. That's not it. It's for actually 4.4 gigahertz. So if the CPU actually clocked up that high. I hope it did. So I don't know why it's saying at 3.4, but that's like the stock clock, but I did overclock it and everything. So the computer performs pretty damn well, I have to say, without spending over like two grand on it. You know, it's just a budget gaming PC. Well, in my opinion, a budget gaming PC, depending on who you talk to. So I think these scores are pretty good. And this right here. It's my personal best right now. I don't know if I could break that just because um, if I try to do like 88 core and 700 memory, it freezes and then it says NVIDIA driver failed and all that stuff. And this is using the latest WHQL drivers, which I think is like 301 something something. I'll have that in the link description as well. But this is what I got and I'm pretty happy with it to be completely honest. Um, performs great, does great, overclocks great. Um, just keep in mind, uh, you won't be getting any GTX 670 co uh, scores because these have less CUDA cores than the GTX 680. And then yeah, if you have the 660, it has even less. And then on top of that, it has a less uh, memory bus. And I think it's 192 memory bus versus 256 memory bus on the 670 and the 680 so just keep that in mind alright guys I hope this helps you out I know the lighting sucks and everything like that but that's what you get when there's no light fixture at the top and this is the living room so go figure right but I guess that is it for now and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the picture so let me go ahead behind the camera so you can verify that I did you know 
use max settings so there you go everything's extreme enabled everything is on high if you guys don't believe me which I hope you do so as always how I end my video thanks guys for watching and as always comment subscribe rate this video click that like button you guys have a great day bye